Okay, so part two here, we've just done um, uh, the Mosaic uh, solo series, single hopped beers from uh, Beer Hut in Kilkeel County Down. And up next is Chinook. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Views and Brews. I am Brendan, and this is a beer I'm really excited to try. Um, there's two reasons. Uh, firstly, every beer that I've had from Beer Hut so far has just knocked it out of the park. They're kind of like Larkins in that respect, and Whiplash Brewing and Kinnegar. They're, they're in a sort of a, a bracket of breweries that just don't seem to get any beers wrong at all or no mediocre beers or sort of hit and miss sort of um, uh, quality and consistency. They just seem to hit, hit, hit the, hit their numbers and they get in, in the ballpark every single time with their beers. Uh, this one, that's part of the reason that I wanted to try this. But the second part is I've tried the others in this series and each of them has been fantastic and they've, they've, done something that a lot of single hopped uh, beers from breweries haven't done very well, which is showcase the hop. The, the malt profile is just your basic standard IPA um, and it lets the hop sing on top of it. And um, I'm hoping that's what happened with this one here as well. Um, there's a fierce amount of carbonation in the can. Now, I didn't get that off of this one, but I can see that the top is uh, fairly well bulging. Uh, I've had it out here. The can is fairly cold. Uh, Chinook hops, um, I've used them and brewing myself for brewing stouts. Um, to my recollection, they're kind of herbal and spicy and grapefruit-like, but let's just see if it's something like that. Um, I feel this one wants to come out real quick. Yeah, there's a decent amount of carbonation going on in this beer, quite a lot. Okay, I'm gonna say there's too much. Okay, so there's too definitely too much carbonation in here, but they've they've definitely not got that bit quite right. Uh, I'm gonna take a bit of this out, and then hopefully when I get through uh, some of the four finger head of beer. Uh, we'll get down to some beer that we can try. And I am getting that characteristic. Uh, this hop, well, this beer is very interesting uh, in that they've got the carbonation in this beer a fair bit wrong. Um, anyway, putting that bit aside, uh, Chinook Hops. I need to get rid of this head here. Just give me a second. Okay, I'm back. So <laughs> the more I drink it, the more the foam uh, uh, comes up in the beer, but that's okay. Uh, re a fairly recent new brewery. Um, they are doing some uh, interesting beers, but this is the first time that I've had a beer from them. And I've had about 10 different beers at this stage where there's been any kind of issue that you'd like to see ironed out. I'm sure the boys know about it. I'm sure that they're um, working on correcting that in the second batch. They're doing small batch brews. Um, uh, the first thing to note, Chinook Hops, um, they are herbal, really, really herbal. And that's the first time I've noticed it because it's the first time I think I've had them in such a pale, you know, opalescent, marblescent sort of, um, you know, orange translucent sort of colored beer. So the beer, the profile of the beer is such that it allows those hops to shine um, in all their full glory without any malt getting in the way. Normally I've had them in stouts where, where the acidity of the stout works quite well with the herbal element. It's kind of like your American version of um, uh, like a, a Fuggles or a EKG type of a hop that would give you that earthy, herbal, um, mild sort of aromatic uh, uh, hoppy aroma. Uh, but this one is very distinct. Um, it 
yeah, very uh, herbal, uh, a bit spicy, I'll say, and a good bit of like um, a zing to it, kind of like grapefruit and a little bit it has a creamy sort of texture to this beer it hasn't got anything else in it has it um it's so so like low bitterness it comes across like creamy it's really nice um definitely like fruity elements to it but i won't say tropical i'd say more more along the lines of peaches and like a creaminess to it that i can't really explain uh, other than saying that um but i think the herbal element and the fact that it is carbonated quite high um let me just pour a little bit more in there see what it does it's actually fine. It's not over attenuated. There's no, uh, the beer isn't thin at all. They've just carbonated it a little bit too high. Um, hmm. I think what they've done really well in this beer is the choice of base um, IPA um, ingredients has allowed this hop to really show all of its you know when you go on to like a hop wheel online and you say okay well what what can i expect from this hop if i make a beer well all of the things that i would expect from chinook that spicy and herbal sort of a bit you know elements of citrus and grapefruit and fruitiness they're all there um in bucket loads um, so if you like Chinook Hill, and I do, they're not my, I'm not crazy in love with them, but I am more so in dark beers. Um, but if that's what you like, uh, you're going to love this beer. Anyway, that's my view on this brew. Uh, I'm going to quickly get on to the next one because I have a few beer hut beers to get through. So cheers, slancha, and on to the next one. Bye. <laughs> And then...